Ever found yourself in a digital bind where your VPN seems to be connected, but alas, no internet access? Today, we're going to tackle this cyber conundrum and equip you with the know-how to resolve this issue swiftly and effectively. But before jumping into the video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more safety guides and features. Now let's get to the video. One of the most common reasons why the VPN is connected but not working is a DNS configuration issue. It may also occur if you configure the VPN connection to use the default gateway on the remote network. To do this, first try to use Command Prompt as administrator. Simply click on the search bar and type CMD. Now right-click Command Prompt from the results and select Run as Administrator. In the black screen, type these two commands. Check if the connection starts working again. Like before, open Command Prompt as Administrator and type the following command. You can replace it with the address you wish to ping and press Enter. If you get replies from the ping, it indicates your connection is working and the issue is likely with the DNS, so you need to resolve DNS issues. If you don't get a reply, for example, a request timeout message, it shows something is blocking the VPN connection. So to reset DNS settings, go to the start menu and type view network connections. Right-click on the network connection you're using, then click on Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4, and then on the properties. Ensure you have obtained IP address automatically and obtain DNS server automatically. This is necessary if your VPN client or a DNS leak protection script crashes and left an unusable DNS configuration. We strongly advise you to reconsider your choice of using a cracked version of a VPN. Not only that it won't protect you, but might actually be malware in disguise. The next thing you can do is to check the Ethernet adapter option settings. For this, right-click the Start menu and select Network Connections. Go to Advanced Network Settings. Click on Ethernet section, and then on More Adapter Options. Highlight Internet Protocol version 4, TCP slash IPv4, and click Properties. Select Use the following DNS server addresses and type the following Open DNS addresses in the Preferred DNS Server and Alternate DNS Server fields. To flush the DNS cache, click Start and type CMD, then right-click Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Type the following command and press Enter. You should get a confirmation that says Windows IP Configuration. You successfully flushed the DNS Resolver cache. Disconnect from your VPN connection and try to access the Internet. If you can access the internet, connect to your VPN and move to the next step of this guide. If you cannot access the internet, the problem has to do with your internet connection. You may need to reboot your device and check your network settings to fix this. VPN protocols are the methods by which your device connects to a VPN server. If your VPN uses the UDP protocol by default, this may be blocked in some countries. To change your DNS server configuration, right-click Start and select Run. Type the following command and click OK. In the Network Connections window, find your usual connection, either LAN or wireless network connection. Right-click the connection and select Properties. Double-click Internet Protocol version 4, IPv4, or just Internet Protocol. Select Use the following DNS server addresses and type these Google DNS server addresses. A proxy server is an intermediary between your computer and the Internet often used to hide your real location and allow you to access websites that would otherwise be blocked. If you're having trouble connecting to the internet, it's possible that it has been set to use a proxy server. Make sure that your browser is set to an auto-detect proxy or to no proxy. If none of these suggestions help, consider changing your VPN provider. ExpressVPN is a top-notch VPN that can work without issues on all your devices. There you have it, folks. These are some easy steps to troubleshoot and fix the VPN connected but not working issue. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips. If you're still facing issues, let us know in the comments and we'll try to help. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay connected.